I love everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush Hi guys, it's me Frank Anthony Tibugay and welcome sa Franky Gaming Channel. Ngayon guys, magkakaroon tayo ng quick unboxing, review, and speed testing ng Xiaomi AX3600 Wi-Fi 6 router. Isa sa flagship router ng Xiaomi noong 2020. Pero bago tayo tumungo sa review, ano ba ang importance ng pagkakaroon ng high-end or magandang router sa pagkakaroon ng stable, reliable, at quality na internet? Ang pagkakaintindi na iba kasi sa quality na internet ay ang pagkakaroon lang ng mataas na fiber optic or DSL network speed plan. For example, naka fiber plan 25, 50, or 100 Mbps ka, pero hindi lang dito nasusukat sa kung gaano kataas ang internet speed ng plan mo, hindi kung paano mo ito magagamit ng maayos at effective para magkaroon ng reliable at stable na internet sa tulungan ng magandang router. Minsan kasi na overlook natin ang kahalagahan ng Wi-Fi router, basta naisip natin na mataas ang speed plan ng internet natin, okay na. Di ba marami sa atin ang nagre-reklamo na sobrang bago ng speed connection ng internet, nagbabuffer when watching online videos, din nagkakaroon ng draft connection during online gaming, live streaming, chatty video calls, etc. Din nagkakaroon din ng big spike ng ping during online gaming. Nagbabuffer when watching online videos, din nagkakaroon ng draft connection during online gaming, live streaming, chatty video calls, etc. Din nagkakaroon din ng big spike ng ping ang taas naman ang internet speed plan ko, bakit ang bagat pa rin at hindi stable ang internet natin? Isa lang ang mapapayo ko, iwasan yung gamitin ang modem router na pinrovide ng internet service provider nyo. Dahil karaniwang pinoprovide ng ISP nyo ay ang mababang klase ng modem router na may low processor, low RAM memory, short range antenna, single band at no special features. Oo, oh, tama ang narinig nyo na ang router ay parang computer din na may processor and memory na nangangailangan din ng mataas na processor at RAM para ma-process at ma-sustain ang maraming load. Sa case ng router, yung load na sinasabi natin ay yung bandwidth or the speed of your network. Ngayon, bigyan ko kayo ng kalaman kung paano pumili ng good wireless router. Ito ang basic na characteristics ng magandang router. First, yung router should have a multi-core processor and at least 128 MB of RAM. Iwasang bumili ng routers na may single core processors. It should have at least a dual core or quad core processor that can deal with more data and more clients. Sabi nga nila, the bigger the number of cores, the better the router performs. The ideal would be 256 MB of RAM or more. This is to make sure that it can process everything as fast as possible. Kapag hindi issue ang pera, you should seek a wireless router with 512 MB of RAM or 1 GB. Number 2. The router should be dual band or more. Your new router should be at least dual band. Ang ibig sabihin nito, yung router na pipiliin mo ay dapat nagbro-broadcast ng wireless signals on two frequencies. Ito yung 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz na nakikita natin sa SSID name pagkoconnect tayo sa router natin. In general, ang pagkakaiba between 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz ay doon lang sa wireless range versus speed. If you want a better range, use 2.4 GHz. If you need a higher performance or speed, use the 5 GHz band. Number 3, your new router should be multi-user, multi-input, multi-output, MUMIMO supported. With MUMIMO, yung router mo can support multiple wired and wireless connection more efficiently. Without MUMIMO, yung router kaya niya lang mag-send ng bandwidth to only one device at a time kahit na pares kayong connected at the same time. Pero kung naka-MUMIMO yung router, hahatiin niya yung bandwidth para masupport niya ang lahat ng connected devices at the same time. Number 4. Dapat may quality of service or QoS features yung router mo. Yung QoS kasi dito mo madidiktahan yung router mo kung ano-anong devices and internet connections ang dapat i-prioritize over others. So if you are a gamer and need mong ma-sure na yung internet connection mo ay stable, even if your partner, kids, or yung mga kapatid mong nanonood sa Netflix, nag-YouTube, or nag-download, using QoS, pwede mong iset sa router mo na to prioritize yung smart device na ginagamit mong panglaro and ilimit ang bandwidth na ginagamit na ibang devices. Number 5. Your new router should have beamforming features. 
Yung gamit pala ng beamform sa router ay ma-direct yung Wi-Fi signal to specific device. Before kasi, yung routers magbroadcast lang ng Wi-Fi signal in all directions. Using beamforming, parang hinahabol niya isa-isa kung nasaan yung mga devices na nangangailangan ng internet connection. Hindi lang siya basta bato ng signal. Yun nga, masasabi natin yung beamforming as more efficient results in a stronger connection. Yung router should have a smartphone app. You should be able to use it para ma-view yung working state ng router mo and ma-manage mo dun yung main features ng router mo when you need to. Okay ngayon guys, simulan na natin ang quick unboxing, review, at speed test ng Xiaomi AX3600 Wi-Fi 6 router. Mm, nabili ko pala siya sa Lazada, siguro mga price na ngayon nasa 5,000 pesos. Ngayon pala natanggal ko na rin yung plastic cover. Yung box na lalagyanan na pala sobrang laki din parang box na rin ng mga lalagyanan na notebook or laptop. Okay, try na natin i-open. Wow! Ang sasabi ko lang sobrang laki ng router na to. Kakaiba siya sa lahat ng router na nakikita ko. Hindi kasi siya yung pangkaraniwang shape ng router na rectangular box. Kung i-describe mo pala yung shape niya para siyang pyramid. Okay, inside sa box makikita natin na meron siyang foam sa top for extra protection. And masasabi natin talaga na pang premium ang datingan niya. Good job! Sa loob ng box, merong network LAN cable, power adapter, yung Xiaomi router itself, then last, yung manual na may instruction in Chinese language. Okay guys, pag-usapan naman natin ang design ng Xiaomi AX3600. Xiaomi AX3600 has a unique design. It has 7 antennas in total, in which 2 side antennas are used in 2.4 GHz channel. Then the four antennas at the back are used in 5 GHz channel, and a single AIoT antenna in the middle is used to connect some Xiaomi smart devices to router with blue LED light indicator at the top. Sa front, makikita natin na may status light indicator for power and internet. Sa back naman, makikita natin na may 1 gig 1 port and 3 1 gig LAN ports. Then yung power input niya and reset button. Router has some plenty ventilation sa top and bottom ng router to keep router's hardware temperature under control. Overall, build quality niya is okay. Bigger in size compared sa mga average router. I really like the design simple but beautiful. Okay guys, tumungo naman tayo sa specs ng Xiaomi AX3600 router. Xiaomi AX3600 router uses Qualcomm IPQ8071A chip. This chip has 6 core design which includes 64-bit quad-core, E53 1GHz CPU plus dual-core 1.7GHz NPU. Also, router has 512MB of RAM and 256MB flash ROM that can offer stable connection to 248 devices. Router also has 2.4GHz and 5GHz dual wall pan supports 802.11ax or Wi-Fi 6 standard. Router also has 6 high gain strong signal antenna and 1 AIoT antenna to connect Xiaomi product. It also supports WPA3 network encryption, IPv6, OFDMA plus MUMIMO, beamforming, mesh technology, and QoS control. And meron din siyang Mi Wi-Fi app para makontrol ang Xiaomi AX3600 router na support ng Android and iOS. Okay guys, pagdating naman sa setup process ng Xiaomi AX3600 router ay sobrang dali lang. I-plug lang ang power cable, then ikabit yung end ng internet LAN cable sa LAN port ng ISP modem router, then yung kabilang end sa one port ng AX3600 router. Tapos mag-download lang ng MIUI app and sundin lang ang instruction or pwede din i-complete ang setup using PC or laptop. Okay, try natin yung MIUI Pi app. Punta lang tayo sa basic settings ng apps, hindi ko na lang i-discuss lahat. Sa Wi-Fi settings, pwede natin iset yung signal strength ng both frequencies from low to high. Then, ma-enable natin yung MUMIMO. Then, pwede na natin enable yung Wi-Fi 5 compatible kasi konti pa lang ang mga smartphone or devices na Wi-Fi 6 compatible. Sa Wi-Fi optimization naman, nandyan yung optimization ng Wi-Fi quality and signal strength. Sa board tools, makikita natin yung security para iset yung firewall ng router, then QoS para iset yung priority na devices and maglimit ng bandwidth. Then sa health mode, pwede natin iset dito yung time ng shutdown ng router every day. Makakatulong ito para hindi ka agad mag-age o lumuma yung hardware ng router. And last, yung schedule boot, makakatulong para ma-reset yung router and to keep it running smoothly. Then may tips pala ako kung saan maganda ilagay ang router. 
First, huwag natin ilagay ang router sa corner ng house natin. Siyempre, ang router ay nagbabato ng Wi-Fi signal in all direction. So kung nasa corner siya ng house nyo, almost part of the wireless connection is sent outside your house. Konti lang ang nababatong signal sa loob, so magandang i-place siya sa middle ng bahay nyo. And also, dapat ikabit yung router as high as possible kasi routers tend to spread signal downward. Ito ang dapat tandaan natin kung saan at paano natin i-place yung router natin to maximize coverage. Okay guys, based sa speed testing ng Xiaomi AX3600 router, nakikita natin na maintain lang ang mataas na download speed in different locations sa house namin. And also sa upload speed naman, bumaba man habang lumalayo sa router, pero sobrang taas pa rin. And sinubukan ko rin mag speed test sa labas ng house namin. Kahit sobrang layo ko na sa bahay namin, nasasagap ko pa rin ang 5GHz signal. And pumapalo pa rin ang download and upload speed based sa last night speed test. Expected ko na dahil ang Xiaomi AX3600 ay may high gain strong signal antenna. Okay guys, based sa speed test ng ASUS RTAC 1300UHP router, nakikita natin na may slight na pagbaba or difference ng download speed sa different location ng house namin habang lumalayo sa router and also sa upload speed. Then yung speed testing outside sa house, 2.GHz ba na lang ang nasasagap ko pero it's still pumapalo pa rin naman. Okay guys, yung last, based sa speed testing ng modem router na pinrovide ng ISP namin, mananotice natin na sobrang baba ng download at upload speed versus sa internet speed plan na in-apply namin. And expected naman kasi dahil ang ISP modem router namin ay single band lang na may 2.4GHz and di na support ang internet speed na plan na in-apply namin. Okay guys, ano yung final thought ko sa router na ito? Para sa akin, yung Xiaomi AX3600 is a great router. It performs better in terms of speed, stability, and coverage compared to other average and high-end branded router. It has a full-pack hardware and specs with average build quality and nice design. And most importantly, mas mura siya pero sulit ang specs and performance niya compared sa mga flagship na branded router. And isa sa negative side naman na nakita ko, wala siyang high-speed USB port for file sharing and multimedia streaming through HDD or USB flash drive. And yung next downside na nakita ko, yung Mi Wi-Fi app niya, hindi ganong maganda yung user interface. Kulang sa features unlike sa Asus router app. Yun lang naman ang downside, pero overall naman, sulit at the best ang Xiaomi AX3600 router. And ito pa pala ang mga marerecommend ko na mura at magandang specs na router. Okay guys, salamat sa panonood. Hanggang sa muli. Thanks for watching. Slap that like button. And make sure to hit the subscribe and notification bell button.